I need to keep you? Homecoming's gonna be on. Do I need to mute you? Yeah. Well.
check one, two, one, two, check. There we go. Now you got it? Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, so there we go. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Let's turn me down a little bit. I don't want to be too loud. <laughs> too loud at all. Get on that uh, thing right there where I start clipping out here. So we're ready to go. We got to the uh, captains out here. As, uh, as I said, as Ottawa's in town. This has always been a very good uh, contest over the last couple of years. As we've seen Ottawa in their place, we played them in the playoffs, and it's always a very good game. The Blue Comets coming in here at 2-1 uh, and one on the year as Ottawa has deferred, and uh, they will be kicking off here to start the first half of play. And the Blue Comets will go right to left on your radio dial. But uh, Ottawa's always a good team. And as you heard Coach Frizzell there in our pregame interview, you know they got a good uh, size offensive line, defensive line out here watching them in pregame. And they do got some good size out there. The one thing I can say, though, like I said in pregame a little earlier, is is that we have the depth, I believe, is uh, we have the numbers here tonight over the Ottawa Cyclones. But, hey, we're going to have to uh, play a knockdown drag out ball game here because they're going to want to run the ball. But they're also going to be passing the ball a little bit more this year, according to the coach. So uh, we'll see how that comes out. So Blue Comets better be ready for a good ball game here tonight. So are you ready for some Blue Comet football? I hope so. It's homecoming night, and, boy, the stands are packed here as we had our homecoming king and queen announced before the ball game. And now it's time for the culmination of Friday night. It is the big ball game. And uh, we got Artist Alley weekend, and I know, boy, I tell you, there's a lot of rain in the forecast for that. We're hoping that it stays away with the uh, 50th anniversary of Artist Alley, and it has brought in many, many uh, alumni to town for that, class reunions. And uh, we hope we can uh, get a beautiful, beautiful day and then partying on Saturday night afterwards for a nice celebration in uh, downtown Chanute tomorrow night at 8.30. Our halftime interview is with Ruth Ann Boatwright, the Main Street Chanute director, and uh, she will give you all the info you need for Artist Alley, all the events and everything going on. And we'll be ready to roll. All right, so we're ready to roll for some football. Back deep for your Blue Comets, Jackson Coombs, Bradley Peavy, Jaden Costin, setting it up on the tee. You got number six, Reese Fogel for Ottawa. So the Blue Comets will get it first here. And let's see, let's start it off. When the Blue Comet run it back. Let's see, here we go. Fogel on the kick and it's a high one it's going to be taken right here in need right down and a good job there by uh, brian jacket the freshman is going to catch it and uh, give the blue comets good starting field position at the 42 yard line so gear jacket starts it off for the blue comets here comes that blue comet offense and it just seems like these last three games we're having a decent running game and uh, some pretty good passing or uh, pretty good passing and a decent running game. So let's see if we put it all together here tonight as we start it off. As the comments will go right to left. We'll put Tyler Davis in the backfield. Twin receiver set both sides of the formation. Bowman under center. And here we go. We're going to hand it off to Tyler Davis. He takes it to the right side, trying to work his way out of a tackle. They'll get one maybe up to the 43. So second down and nine. Hey, I'm liking the new down markers over there. That's pretty sharp. Lit up over there, or is that just me because the sun's hitting it? I don't know. It looks pretty neat over there. All right, here we go. Second down and nine, 1130. So we're just underway. Bowman will move to the pistol formation here. He'll send Davis to his right side. Looks like Almond and Costin. Out to the far side. Here's Karsten on uh, the jet sweep. And it is a ball that's loose. Ball that's loose. And in the backfield quick, there is the Ottawa defense. But Ty, uh, Ty Bowman right on it quick as they fake the jet sweep. And it got away from him. So it's a loss back to the 39. It's a loss of four. So that'll bring up a third down and about 13 here for the Blue Comets on the first offensive possession. So trying to hand it off there in a jet sweep. Maybe pull it back with Ty and got knocked there and hit the ground. So Bowman goes back up under center with Davis in the backfield. Showing blitz is the Cyclones. They'll hand it off on the end around. Barley Peavy. He'll take it over to the right side and across midfield and finally going to be wrangled down there into Ottawa territory. And down at about the 35, maybe, I'm sorry, the 45, maybe the 44-yard line. For Barley Peavy, it's a first down, Blue Comets. So Bradley Peavy busts off a big one. 17 yards on that one. First down, Blue Comets. Into 
territory, and it looks like we're going to have a penalty flag. away. he got thrown down out there. I was going to say it might be in a personal foul and a whole horse collar. We'll see. And it is a horse collar the way he threw him down. So that's an additional 15 on top of it. So the Blue Comets will be deep in Ottawa territory here. After the big penalty, takes him all the way down to the 30, the 29-yard line. First down, 10, Blue Comets. Back up under center goes Bowman. In motion this time, Jaden Costa going to hand it to him on the jet sweep, trying to avoid the tackle, and a good job into the backfield there by the Ottawa defense. Coming up in there, number 22, on to the stop, Kale Lane. If I'm saying that right, Kale. He makes a stop for a loss. So all the way back to the 34-yard line. Loss of five. So brings up a second down and about 15 now for the Blue Comets. Back to pistol formation. Twin receiver set here to the near side. And Davis to the left side of Bowman. Now in motion comes PV left to right side. Faking the sweep. Here's the pass down. He's got a man down. Oh, in and out of the hands. Right through the hands of Garrett Allman. Down at about the 15-yard line. An incomplete pass. So an incomplete pass here, makes it a third down 15, 9.42 to go here in this first quarter. As the Blue Comets got a big run there by Bradley PV and a big penalty, so uh, put him down into Ottawa territory. See if we can capitalize on that. Back to pistol here for Bowman. Here's the snap. Looking to pass downfield, got all kinds of time. Down the middle of the field, got his man, touchdown! Blue Comets right there, coming across the middle. Gonna find Bradley PV. For 34 yards on the touchdown strike right across the middle. Touchdown, Blue Comets, and the Blue Comets take the lead. So it's a touchdown, Blue Comets. And that puts them up six to nothing. I was... Uh, a little fun stuff here with uh, Jacob Adams here after the kick. It, it is up, and it is uh, good, good, good. The PAT, good. So that'll make it a 7 to nothing ball game. 9.42 to go. Blue Comets take an early 7 nothing lead. We'll be back in one minute for the kickoff on your home for the Blue Comets Z95.3. And back here for the kick. Jacob Adams is going to kick it out here. Number 22, that is going to be Lane. He's going to mishandle it, and it goes into the end zone, and it will be a touchback for Jacob Adams. So the Cyclones will start off. At 9.41 to go here into the first. Their first offensive possession. Quarterback Castleberry will come out. And uh, as I said before the game, I was down talking to <laughs> Jacob Adams there and uh, Tyson Lucas near the kickers for the Blue Comets and had a little fun with those guys, asking if they can kick 50 yards into the wind. And uh, back and forth between those two, the competition, it was a lot of fun between them. I thought it was a lot of fun between those two guys. Had a lot of fun with those guys before the ball game about kicking the football. All right, here we go. As Castleberry brings them up. Similar formations to the Blue Comets. And uh, that's, this one's going to be a quick out over to the left side. And it's uh, caught there by number 18. That is Aho. And... 18 gets it there first, and they're going to go on some quick patterns. Blue Comets better be ready as they'll take it all the way up to the 31-yard line. So it's a quick first down here. So 
So first down and 10 now from uh, the 31 yard line on the quick pass. As Castleberry brings him up, he'll have a wishbone look here, flexbone look. Here's the snap, gonna hand off. First man through, sliding, but keeping his feet cutting back up inside is Clevenger, number three. He'll pick up a couple, maybe one up to the 34. As it started off there at the 32. So up to the 34 yard line, so he'll pick up two. Second down and eight, Blue Comet defense right there. It's Clevenger on the run, started to slip as they try to come to the uh, near side here. And then cut it back inside, got a couple of yards as they go left to right on your radio dial. Clevenger in the backfield, back to I formation here now. It's Castleberry under center. Gonna hand it off to the first man through and the Blue Comet defense right there to stuff it right in the middle. For the Blue Comets, Colton LeCrone right in the middle there to stop him. Might have got one to the 35 yard line. I believe that was number two, Creech. So it'll make up a third down and seven now for the Cyclones as they uh, spread them out here. Castleberry with a trip receiver set here to the near side. They go left to right so on your radio dial. Now Castleberry waiting. Blue Comets sitting back here playing some defense. Here's the pass. It is in the hands. Oh, and almost off the carom. Picked off by Bradley Peavy out of his hands. That brings up a fourth down. Nice play there by the Blue Comet defense. And Bradley Peavy almost got a pick him. So ready to go now for a fourth down and uh, going back deep now for the Blue Comets. Jaden Costin and Bradley Peavy will be back deep. They'll stand about their own 35 yard line ready for the kick here. The high snap. Kessinger gets it off. As it's a good bounce and uh, Blue Comets will stay away from it. Takes a cyclone bounce inside the 40 yard line down to the 38 of the Blue Comets. So down to the 38 Blue Comets, the uh, 38 yard line for the Blue Comets. 33-yard punt, and Bucamas will have their second possession, leading a seven to nothing. 7:43 to go here in this first quarter, and Bucamas will have it on their own 38-yard line. First down and ten. Tyler Davis stays in the backfield. Allman and Costin out wide to the right side. PV and Kester out here to the left. And Costin in motion. Faking the handoff. They'll just sweep and they'll give it to Tyler Davis. He'll take it up the middle. And looks like there's a face mask in there. But he's going to pick up a few as he gets across the 40, maybe up to the 44 yard line. Again, a six. And there is a penalty flag down. Looked like he got that face mask in there, but it's a gain of six first for Tyler Davis. So we're going to get another penalty here. Probably going to be a 15 yarder because he really had a grab over that head. That face mask, turn the head, especially when you turn the head, you're going to call the 15-yard penalty every time. So that's going to end up being a first down for the Blue Comets if they, now they're backing it up. Here we go. So we will get a personal foul, face mask, only, only called it to five-yarder. Oh, wow. Turn the head like that, only get a five-yarder. I figured that would be a 15-yarder. Anyway, it's a first down for the Blue Comets. And uh, they'll have it right now at uh, the 49-yard line. So now, Davis to the right side of Bowman in the backfield. Twin receivers have both sides. Bowman, on the first snap, here comes the blitz. And a nice pick up there by Davis. Bowman takes advantage right up the gut. Ty over to the right side. Breaks a couple tackles at the 40-yard line before he's finally taken down. First down, Blue Comets into Ottawa territory. Nice job picking up the blitz there by Tyler Davis. And that was unexpected by the Ottawa defense as Ty Bowman just took off with it after they rushed and blitzed right on in. And that was a great play there by Tyler Davis. So first down, Blue Comets, all the way down to the 40-yard line of Ottawa. 19 yards for Ty Davis. Ty Bowman. First down, that is the third one for the Comets here tonight. So clock rolling down to seven minutes to go here in the first. Seven nothing, homecoming nights. And Blue Comets. To the line, way out wide of the formation. Here's Kessler, 101, 
with a shorter defender here, but the ball's on that far side out there. So here's the handoff. And nice job, Riley Peavy gets the handoff right up to the gut. He's at the 20, breaking tackles. Oh, he gets pounded, but he's still on his feet. And bounces back here to the near side. 10, 5, touchdown, Blue Comets. What a run by Riley Peavy. And wow, just keep adding up the highlights for that young man. That was an impressive and beautiful run by Bradley Peavy. Makes it a 13 to let the ball game. And we'll get that to two-point conversion or extra point on of the way. Wow. Not to be denied, Bradley Peavy. Bouncing around like a pinball out there, and he takes it to the house. Here's the extra point. Jacob Adams coming in for the extra point. Here's the snap, and it's down. Johnson gets it down, and it is up, and it is no good. That's a rare no good. P-A-T by Jacob Adams. So it is 6.39. It's a 13 nothing ball game. We're going to go to a one-minute break. Be right back. Blue comments up. 13 nothing here on Z95.3. And hey, we're back here for the kickoff, and uh, Jacob Adams sends it through the end zone. And it's a touchback. And the Blue Comets back on defense now, leading at 13 to nothing. And it will be Ottawa football. 6.39 to go. They'll have it on their own 20 yard line. Castleberry brings it back out. First down and 10. Empties out the backfield. Kessinger, quarterback here, sorry. Number seven. Going to hold on to himself, try to bring it right up the middle, design quarterback run. He'll take it across the 20. you get one or so. We have a defense right there, Garrett Allman. As well as Nate Cunningham in on the stop, big number six, seven. Getting him a stop right there, one yard. Number seven there, Caleb Kessinger. So that clock rolling now, getting close to six minutes to go. Kessinger brings it back to the line here. They'll throw it out here quick, and a nice job disrupting the play. Bradley Peavy is as intended for number 18. Hey ho And it's an incomplete pass. So good job there on the defense. Makes that a third down and nine as the Blue Comets try to get the ball back for their offense here. Keep tacking it on here in this first quarter. Ottawa breaks the huddle. Kessinger with Clevenger behind him. Now Clevenger leaves the backfield. Kessinger going to look to pass. The Blue Comet defense right there. To smother him up in the sack in the backfield. And the Blue Comets all over him back there. That is Garrett Allman on the blitz, and he takes him down for the sack. And the Blue Comet defense forces a punt here. Back to the 15-yard line. That's a six-yard loss. So here's a fourth down, and the punt forthcoming here by... The Cyclones, high step, but still able to get it down there is Kessinger. 
And he'll sit in and he'll take a blue cow bounce and bounce back and then down to about the 35 yard line. Good starting position there for the Blue Comets. About a 20 yard punt there. For Ottawa, gives it back to the Blue Cows with good field position, 5-14 to play here. In this first quarter, the Blue Comets lead at 13 to nothing. They'll have a first down and 10 at the 34 yard line of Ottawa. So back out here for Blue Comet offense. Riker Donovan will get to the backfield here as Allman and Costa now wide to the far side. Uh, trip receiver set out there, getting Jane Costa out there as well. Trip receiver out to the far side. Cam Kester by himself here to the near side. And Ty Bowman looking to pass once again, going to go towards the end zone. Got a man down there and up in the air, incomplete pass. Nice job there on the defense, but trying to get it to Jaden Costin, his number two, 22 lane right there to disrupt it. And it'll be a second down and 10. Five oh eight after that incomplete pass. And Ty Bowman brings him right back out. Second and 10 here on homecoming night. Well, I tell you, there's a big, big crowd here tonight. It's a beautiful night for football. Man, can't ask for a better night. All right, trip receiver set back over here to the near side as they got the ball on here on the, the left hash. Riker Donovan in that backfield once again. Ty Bowman looking to throw. Going to throw it out to the far side, and he's got his man there breaking a tackle as uh, Garrett Alma trying to fight his way towards the first down marker. And he's going to be awful close. See where they mark it, maybe just a little bit short, just inside of that 25 yard line. So we'll see. And it's gonna be a third down and short, so they'll give them nine on that one. So it's a third down and short for the Blue Comets. And Bowman. Donovan in the backfield. See a handoff here for sure. Riker Donovan taking it over to the right side. He's breaking tackles and he'll have enough for a first down as he gets inside the 20 down to the 19. First down, Blue Comets after a gain of five. Blue Comets get their fifth first down and they'll have it first down and 10 there at about the 19 yard line. 4.30 left to go here in this first quarter, leading 13 to nothing and driving. Blue Comets on their third drive here. I'm going to put it in the end zone one more time here on homecoming. Tyler Davis back in the backfield now. TD light. Trip receiver set here to the near side. Costin, Bowman, and Kester. Allman now wide to the far side. Looking this way here. Going to find his man wide open. Oh, in the middle of the field. And Cam Kester can't get it. And that's an incomplete pass. Oh, that was beautiful. He was right there, wide open into the end zone. An incomplete pass. Touchdown for sure right there. Second down and 10. So check it in at the sideline. Is that clock rolling down with four minutes to go? And Bowman will bring it back to the line here. It was second down and 10. Davis in the backfield to the left side. Bowman calling for the snap here. Now gonna hold himself. Look at the pitch now. He hold it, taking himself. He's wide up 10. Five, he'll find his way to the end zone. Touchdown. Ty Bowman. Touchdown, Blue Comets. Boy, he just decided to take himself in that run pass option. Found an open lane and took it all the way to the house. And the Blue Comets now up 19 to nothing with under four to go on the 19 yard run. Touchdown by Ty Bowman. So the Blue Comets get their second rushing touchdown of the night at 19 yards on there. And looks like the Blue Comets gonna try to go for two. And with right at four to go, try to make it a 21 nothing Big run there by Ty Bowman as he takes it in 19 yards for the score. And 19 nothing Blue Comets. So here comes the two point play. Big jumbo formation here. Bowman under center. Going to try to power football, get it in there. Going to hand it off. No, Bradley Peavy faked the hand off to him. Going to catch him in the end zone, and it's good for the two-point conversion. 
as they find Garrett Allman in the back of the end zone, and a two-point PAT is good. It's 21-0 on the Blue Cowboys with the lead. All right, we're going to come back for the kickoff. We'll be back in 30 seconds. How about we get a, a Young's Welding break here on Z95.3. And back here as we get ready for the kickoff. Five plays, 34 yards, culminating in a 19-yard touchdown run by Ty Bowman in a minute and 18 seconds. And a two-point conversion on the pass in the back of the end zone to Garrett Allman. Makes it a 21-0 ball game here in homecoming night. And here's the kick. And it's on the way. Lucas with the kick. A little short there, getting picked up. Bringing it to the up man here, and he'll be taking... Down there at about the 35-yard line. That's number 22, Lane. So Ottawa with 3.52 to play here into the first quarter. Looking to get some offense to go in here as they'll have it on their own 35-yard line. Trading at 21 nothing here in this first quarter. We'll have them back to the line here. Quarterback, Kessinger. Brings her to the line. He's got a running back in the backfield here in the wing T look. Bring a man in motion from the left to the right side. Hand it off to the tailback. That's number three, Clevenger. He comes around the corner and slips again. That's the second time I've seen a slip. This time he picks up a few yards, though. And he'll take it up to about to the 35, maybe the 36. So they'll give him one. Second down and a long nine. We'll call it that. Three and a half to go here for the Cyclone offense. Kessinger. Going to send his running back. Clevenger out to the left side to empty out the backfield. Receiver set here to the near side as they go left to right on your radio dial. Man in motion there. Going to hand it off. And it is number 18 on the carry there. That is Aho, and he tries to take it around on the jet sweep. And he'll pick up a few, but the Blue Cowboy defense right there is stop it before he can get to the 40-yard line. So it's a gain of three. Up to the 39. So it brings up a third down and about six here for the Cyclones. As they get under three minutes to go now, down to 245 left here in this first quarter. 21-0 Blue Comets. Play clock. Running down to about 20 seconds. Got plenty of time for the offense. Kessinger with Clevenger behind him in the backfield. And pistol formation, low snap. Kessinger looking to find some room. Still pulls it down now. Going to be tackled from behind. Nice job from behind there for the Blue Comets. Braden Dillo as he was in the backfield to disrupt the play in the first place. And he caught it from behind. And it's going to be awful close to first down as they get it up to the 45-yard line. It's a run of six. So they'll give him a first down here. That's a second down, second first down of the night for Ottawa. So that's good there. He got just enough for a first down. And with under two minutes to go, it's a first down and 10 here for, <coughs> excuse me, first down and 10. First down and 10 here for the, uh, the Cyclones. All right. Kessinger back out here in pistol formation with Clevenger behind him. Here's the snap. Guess you're going to look to throw downfield. Got his man there high and in and out of the hands of his receiver. And also looked like Colton Fritch had an opportunity there. And it goes out of his hands as well. Pass in complete. That brings up a second down and 10. 138 left in the first quarter. And we count up 21 nothing. Coming up at halftime, we'll have Miss Ruth Ann Boatwright. She's the director of Main Street Chinook. Have an interview with her about Artist Alley and all the things you need to know about Artist Alley. We'll talk about that in our halftime interview coming up. Brought to you by the Community National Bank in your Community National Bank halftime report. 
Stick around after the game for our North Santa Fe Auto Entire post game show. And back out here now spreading them out is Kessinger. Bringing a man in motion, a hope. Kessinger gonna hold it himself, trying to turn the corner and he'll be stalk as he gets in the hole there. I don't know who that was, but somebody laid some wood, it looked like LaCrone. Said, uh-uh, that's as far as you go. As he'll get up to the 46 yard line, a gain of one. That brings up a third down and nine. Getting down to a minute to go here. Think twice about turning the corner with big number five, four standing in a hole next time. I'll tell you that. Turn down to nine. Here we go. Kessinger. He's got Lane in the backfield, it looks like this time. Under center goes Kessinger. Gonna hand it to Lane right up the gut. Lane's got some room. He'll get into Blue Cup there. Ooh, what a big hit there by Harris. Looks like the ball came out. And Blue Cup at football. And it looked like Harris played the wood on that one to knock it out. And man, that's another big play there by Harris. As he's made some plays the last couple weeks as a senior linebacker, and he makes another one there, and he causes the fumble. So Harris gives it back to the Blue Comets. It's a fumble. First down and 10. Uh, Shadoot gets it with 40 seconds back. And they'll have it at to the 47-yard line. 40 seconds to go. What a hit there. Blue Comets starting to lay some wood out there. All right, Blue Comets get it back here. The probably last play of the first quarter. It's Tyler Davis in the backfield here with Ty Bowman. Bowman going to look to pass. And now all kinds of time. He'll step up in the pocket and pull it down. And he's got room. He'll get across the midfield into Ottawa territory down to about the 44-yard line. It'll mark him down. So that's a nine-yard run there for Ty Bowman. So Bowman. Looking down to 14 seconds to go here. Still may win one more play here. It's another first down for the Blue Comets. Don't have to run another one as they'll get it down to nine seconds, but it looks like Ty's going to bring him out and see if we can get a play off. Four seconds, three seconds, two, one. And uh, that's going to be the end of the quarter there. Didn't think they would get it off. So at the end of the first quarter, it's a 21 to nothing lead for your Blue Comets here at Homecoming nights as Ottawa is in town. Blue Comets are driving once again. They'll have a second down and short. We'll be back in one minute for the second quarter on your home for the Blue Comets, Z95.3. Back here as we start the second quarter, we'll switch ins and uh, Blue Comets and I go left to right on your radio dial, and it's a second down and a one here. And uh, PB in motion gets the fake jet sweep, and Bowman holds himself down to the left side, nice stiff arm. And he'll take it across the forty first down, Blue Comets, and he'll get twisted down there by Colin Creech, number two for the Cyclones. So down to the forty yard line of Ottawa. So that'll be a six-yard run there for Bowman. Five carries, 49 yards, one touchdown on the night for Bowman. Another first down for the Blue Comets. That's number seven. We're just underway here in the second quarter. Blue Comets have a first down and 10 on the 40-yard line of the Cyclones of Ottawa. Bowman bringing him back out. Kester wide to the left side by himself out here. Trip receiver set to the near side. And in the backfield, TD Light. Bowman holding himself, trying to bring it around here to the right. Now, 
He'll pitch it out here. Tyler Davis got some open lane. He's at the 30. He's at the 25. Breaks the tackle down to the 20. Inside the 20 yard line, down to the 19, where he's finally taken down by Creech, by Ottawa. And a big run there to Tyler Davis, all the way down to the 19 yard line. We'll give him 21 on that one. All right, I gave uh, some wrong stats here, so we're trying to get them fixed real quick, folks. Play with me here. All right, so first down for the Blue Comets here, <laughs> number eight. Now I think we're right. I'm giving uh, Tyler Davis, Bradley Peavy's numbers here, so I got to mix it right. All right, so uh, back to the ground here. Riker Donovan tries to take it through the middle. He'll get across the 20, maybe back to the original line of scrimmage here, the 19, and no game. Make sure we get to uh, Bradley Peavy his right numbers here. So we got three carries, 28 yards for Tyler Davis, and uh, two carries, 57 yards, and a touchdown for Bradley Peavy. Okay, now we're ready. All right, so it's a uh, second down and a long night for the Blue Comets here after the no game by Riker Donovan. Donovan stays in the backfield to the left side. Uh, Bowman, they roll out to the left. Bowman puts it up. And out of the hands of Bradley Peavy on the incomplete pass. Two of six, 43 yards and one touchdown on the night for... Ty Bowman, that stops the clock for a third down and nine here. With 10.40 to go in the first half. And the comments up 21-0. But they're looking to add to that right here. But it's a third down and long as Bowman gets the play, bringing it in. If that big offensive line can make some room up front. Let's get this first down. Donovan to the left side of Bowman. Kester, PV to the left side. Costin and Almond here to the right. Bowman looking that way here to the right. Puts it up in the air and uh, tries to get it there. And it's low. Oh, it's in the grass there. Almond. they're going to say it hit the ground. Incomplete pass. Try to get it there to him low. And just a little bit too low there for Garrett Almond to bring it in. Fourth down and a long 10, a long nine for <laughs> the Blue Comets. With 10.35 to go to stop the clock right there. And it looks like Coach Frizzell's like, you know what, we're going to go for it here on fourth down. Might as well. Deep in their end. I think he's got plenty of, Jacob Adams got plenty of leg to try one here, but hey, let's go for it fourth down. We'll use that later, but nice to have him have some practice at it. Donovan in the backfield now to the right side of Bowman. Here's the snap, Bowman. All kinds of time, goes down in the corner, looking to find his receiver. Brody Peavy, oh my goodness, in and out of his hands, and it just can't hold on to it, and it's an incomplete pass. Nice try there by Peavy. And he laid it up there in the right spot there, did Bowman, but in and out of the hands of Bradley. And it's a turnover on downs by the Blue Comets with 10.28 to go. Ottawa will get it back. And they'll have it first down and 10 on their own 19-yard line. So as Kessinger brings them back out for the Cyclones, looking to get something going here on offense as they trail it 21 to nothing. Kessinger. On the pass, out to the right side, got his man. And the pass is complete. Out there to number two, Creech. And that'll get him about uh, three yards on that one, all the way up to the 23 yard line. So mark it there to 22. So give him three yards on that pass. So that's uh, clock rolling, 21 nothing, and it's a, a second down and six now for the Cyclones. It's Kessinger in the backfield. I look to pass once again, quick out, and uh, got his man, he breaks away, and still on his feet, breaking tackles, get it close to Blue Comet territory. Blue Comets had to run him down, and French and Peavy finally do run down Creech, but after a big, big pass play there from Kessinger to Creech, gets him into Blue Comet territory, all the way down to the 46-yard line of the Blue Comets. Big play that uh, the Cyclones definitely needed there. All the way down to the Blue Comet 46. 42 yard play there. Okay. 
So it's a first down and 10 now for the Cyclones into Blue Comet territory. Hand it off to the first man through. Trying to take it over to the right side. Blue Comet's there to stack him up, but he'll pick up a few. Run right there by Pevinger, looks like. So that gets uh, about to about four yards on that one. Let's call it a down to the 42-yard line. So in the backfield, once again, number 22 there. That was Lane on that last carry. And he picked up four. And trying to take it up the gut here this time will be Kessinger, but he'll get back to the line of scrimmage for a third down and six here as the ball spotted there at the 42-yard line. So it's a third down and six here for the Cyclones, 8.26 to go. And Kessinger trying to get his team into the end zone here before halftime. Definitely trying to take as much time off this clock, trying not to give it back to this potent Blue Cabot offense, even though they got a three and out. Not a three and out, but they were able to keep the Blue Cabots out of the end zone on the last possession. High formation here for Kessinger. Going to look to throw it out quick. And oh, ho, ho. Curtis Harris gets his hands on it, and that was uh-huh. If he'd have got his hands on it, I don't think they'd have caught him. Uh, would have been a pick six right there with Harris, right there to break up that play. Incomplete pass. He had some wide open territory. If he was able to get a hold of that one, say fourth down and six now for the Cyclones. As Kessinger gets the play, comes back in. Coach Hedrick over there, centered in with him. And getting down about eight minutes to go here into this second quarter. Going to bring him out for a fourth down. down Kessinger in the backfield here is Lukama's going to look to put the pressure on here on this fourth down play. Kessinger going to look to pass. He'll run it up the middle. Then throw it. And he got his man downfield. And a nice play there by Ottawa as they get it all the way down to AO. And he'll take it all the way down inside the 10-yard line. As a nice run play option there as the Kessinger started to run up the middle and he jumped it right off the middle to Aho right up the gut. He'll take it down to looks like about the six or seven yard line of the Blue Comets. So a good play there. 35 yards. So here's Ottawa trying to get it in, but the Blue Comet defense is going to hold them up there as they try to take it over to the right side, get it up close to the five-yard line, maybe inside the five. See where they mark it back to the three-yard line there. That's Clevenger on the run. He'll pick up four. Down to the three, so second down and goal. 7.20 to go. Down to the three-yard line. So back to it here with a uh, second down and goal from the three-yard line. Aho in motion from the left to the right side. Going to hand it off. Trying to push their way through, and that's going to be close to the goal line there. Big number two. I got a 23 out there, but I don't have a 23 on my sheet here. So that's who's running the ball, number 23. And he'll take it all the way down to about to the two-yard line on a third down and goal from the one. So third and goal from the one. Kessinger in the backfield by himself. And it looks like we're going to get an offside penalty on the Blue Comets. And not much room. You can move it maybe about six inches. Offsides Blue Comets, but it's made a third down and about a half a yard down for the Cyclones. So third down and about the length of a football here, and the Blue Comet defense trying to stuff this gut. And Kessinger, he loses the handle on the snap, and it's behind him, and they're not going to get in as it's back to the one-yard line now. So 
So that brings up a fourth down and goal now from the one, but we got a Cyclone still on the field here. So we're gonna get an injury. That looks like one of the big offensive linemen may, is down there onto the field. And it looks like number 76, Adam Duran. And uh, he's starting to get up and walk on his own power there. Getting a little help from the coach. So Duran's gonna walk off. And good to see he's able to get a little help and use some of his own power to get off the field here. So it's a fourth down and goal now from the one yard line, inside the one yard line here. And I'm taking it to number 23 out there is the lane. I don't know, I've got to get a new sheet here at halftime and we'll figure it out. But here we go, with 6.03 to go until halftime. It's a fourth down and goal at the one yard line. Blue Comets trying to pitch a second consecutive shutout here. And they got a fourth down and goal right there at the one yard line. Here it comes. Kessinger in that offense for the Cyclones. Kessinger getting up there quick. Gonna try to stab it and get it in himself. Trying to push it in, but the Blue Comets right there. How about that Blue Comet defense denies. And nice job there, but I'm gonna give it up to number six, seven. That is Nate Cunningham. He got in the backfield quick, wrapped him up and pulled him backwards and might have even lost a half yard. Blue Comets stop him at the goal line. That's defense right there. Coach Emling cannot be prouder. I can guarantee you that right now. So it's a turnover on downs. Blue Comet defense. Stuffs him at the one yard line. So the Snoop Blue Comets get it back here. 552. And they'll have it at their own one yard line. So here come the Blue Comets back out. Ready to go on offense. Up 21 to nothing. 552 to go till halftime here in homecoming nights. Backed up deep in their own end. Do what we can to get out of the shadow of our own end zone. Put Bradley Peavy in the backfield at under center. The jumbo package goes Bowman. Ty, hand it off. Peavy coming here to the near side. He's gonna come around the corner. He's at the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Finally taken down there, nice job. He took him a long time to catch him, did Aho. But Bradley Peavy finally goes down. At about the 45 yard line, so a nice job. Bradley Peavy takes it out to the 45 yard line for a 45 yard first down, Blue Commons. So they'll put him at the 45, so that's a 44 yard run for Peavy. That puts him over 100 yards on only three carries tonight, does Bradley Peavy. So uh, Peavy now gives Blue Commons another first down. And now a little bit of breathing room here for Ty Bowman, who has Davis in the backfield to his left side. Trip receiver set here to the near side. Going to look out here for the quick out. Finding Allman. Gets some blockers downfield. Allman trying to push his way up into Cyclone territory and gets down there at about the 47-yard line of Ottawa. So another completion. Three of eight, 51 yards, and a touchdown for Ty Bowman. Second down and two for the Blue Comets from the Ottawa 47-yard line. Getting down to five minutes to go here into this first half. Kester goes out by himself to the far side. Now, Costin goes out there with him in the slot. Davis in the backfield. He got two men in motion here. And that's going to be a uh, legal formation. He got two men in motion there on the Blue Comets. We're going to get a penalty flag. That play's not going to count. As we had both receivers decide to take off on a jet sweep. Who wants to jet sweep more? <laughs> so 5.08 to go. <coughs> the Cowboys going to be picking up their first penalty flag here. And shouldn't be that much of a discussion. <laughs> Five-yard penalty, guys. Hello. There we go. Mark off five. <laughs> Takes it back to the 48 of the Blue Comets. 5.08 to go, second down, and now seven from the 47 of Chanute. Bowman 
We'll go under center here with Davis in the backfield. Twin receivers set both sides of the formation. Bowman under center now. Costin in motion. Going to hit it off to Davis up to the gut. Now Costin's got it as it goes around to the left end. And turns the corner. He's still on his feet. 30 down to the 25 where he's finally tripped up. And we got a penalty flag coming in. And we could see a block in the back downfield. We'll see. Maybe some holding downfield. Jaden Costin takes it around the end for a big, big gain, but it's maybe negated here by the flag sitting at about the 32-yard line. Play ended up down there to the 26-yard line, but we're going to get a penalty against the Blue Comets. About the 32, that'll take it back to about the 42. So we'll see where the run ends up. May still be enough for a first down. And it is. So it's another first down. 30 nothing. Cool. Got a couple updates for you. 30 to nothing in Humboldt and uh, 22 nothing St. Paul was up last time we checked. So good job by the uh, two teams here at My Town Media. All right, first down and 10, even after the penalty by the Blue Comets. So they lose six on that one, but it's still a first down and 10. PV in motion. Bowman keeps himself to the left side. Finds some running room and some blockers downfield. He'll have enough for a first down as he gets close to the 30 yard line. First down, Blue Comets on a gain of 12 by Ty Bowman. So new first down is that Blue Comets now down to 4.38 to go here. End of this first half, coming up at halftime, we have a great interview with Miss Ruth Ann, Miss, with Miss Ruth Ann Boatwright, Main Street Chanute Director, all about everything you need to know for Artist Alley. Coming up tomorrow. 50th anniversary of Artist Alley. Cool car show going on. Breakfast, that's where I'm going to be first. Sonic Temple, breakfast starts at 7. All right, first down and 10, Blue Comets. Twin receiver set both sides here. Bowman pulls it down. Now he'll flip it out to TD. TD turning the corner. 20, 15, 15, 10, 5. Gets rolled out of bounds there. On to the play. So it is Rocker Donovan there onto the play. So that's a first down and goal for the Blue Cowboys as he goes out of bounds. Rocker Donovan does all the way down to the four yard line. 26 yard run on that one. First down and goal, Blue Cowboys as they come to the line here. Under center, now Bradley Peavy's gonna take the hand off and take it over to the left side, touchdown, Blue Comets, Bradley Peavy from four yards out and it's a touchdown, Blue Comets. So that makes it a 27 of the ball game. Start off in a 99 yard drive for the Blue Comets on their fourth scoring drive of the night. First one here in the second quarter. And here comes Jacob Adams in to try the extra point. Missed on the last one. Now you don't already see that from Jacob. So he'll settle in here as Cossin ready for the snap. He'll get it in, it's down, and the kick is up, and it is good, good, good. So the PAT, good. And that makes it a 28 nothing ball game. We're going to take a one-minute break, and we'll be right back. Put comments up here on Z95.3.
All righty, we're back here. We just missed a, uh, a great play on the kickoff. Jacob Adams kicks it up in the air and come down there. And with it is the Blue Comets into Cyclone territory. As it definitely went 10 yards. So the Blue Comets come up with the recovery on a great play. And I couldn't tell who come up with it here, but we're going to see if we can catch it on the replay. And Jackson Coombs comes up with it, I do believe. And he catches it, and he'll take it down to about the 30-yard line. So good job here as they just pop it up in the air. And uh, the Blue Comets get uh, Jackson Coombs to come down with it, and it'll be Blue Comet football, 28-0. All right, we'll see you know, that uh, the big uh, leads here for St. Paul as well as Humboldt this evening on Hot 105 and 1460 AM and 99.9 .9 FM as well tonight. So uh, what a great play there for the Blue Comets. So now they're going to give it back to Ottawa. Say that I don't understand the call here. How, how, I don't understand the call here. They're saying that they were wasn't within the 10 yards or what? I'm not quite understanding what's going on here, but they're giving it back to Ottawa. So, okay, Ottawa football. Not quite understanding here. All right, I formation, Kessinger. Drops the step there. Now he pitches it out. Nice job. Blue Comet defense in the backfield. Colton McCrone as they give it there to Clevenger. And he'll lose a couple from the 45-yard line back to the 43. So he'll lose a couple of Will Clevenger on a, that one there, making a second down at 12. So second down at 12 here now for Ottawa. As we're getting to finally get it all back together here. Kessinger with Clevenger into the backfield here. Gonna get a quick out here to Aho. He's got him. And get a block downfield. Nice job being taken down there by Riker Donovan as he gets into the common territory there to about the 49-yard line. Seven yards on that pass play from Kessinger to Aho. So that brings up a third down and about three with two and a half to go here before half. Kessinger with Clevenger in the backfield here to his right side. He'll have a trip receiver set over to that right side as they go right to left. And that one is tipped at the line. Looked like somebody coming through. Got a piece of that one. And uh, Harding might have got a piece of it. So that forces a fourth down after the pass is incomplete. So fourth down and about four now with 2.19 to go here till halftime. And Ottawa trying to put some points on the board. Blue Comet defense held them up with a first down and goal of four plays a little while ago and got the ball back and went down and scored. So we're going to get a timeout here onto the field. And we're going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll be right back. 2.19 left to go to halftime. Blue Comet's up 28 nothing. Z95.3. All righty, we're here with the uh, with the timeout, and uh, the Blue Comets now we'll try to hold them up on a fourth down and short. Watch the football. Maybe try to get him to jump here on a fourth down and four from the Blue Comet 49-yard line. And Ottawa comes out here, 2.19 to go. We're trying to continue this drive here with the first down. Kessinger with coverage in the backfield. A little bone look here, the wing T look. Wait for the snap here. Here's the snap. Kessinger going to look to hold himself. Now pulls it down. Going to look downfield. And Aho almost comes up with it. But good job. Brian Peavy coming back to the football. Knocking it away. And it's an incomplete pass. And it's fourth down. Our first down for the Blue Comets on the turnover on downs. So Aho can't come up with that one on the incomplete pass. So the Blue Comets get it back here. First down and 10. Good field position. They have it at their own 49-yard line. 
First down and 10 with 2.13 to go. End of this first half. So up 28 to nothing here. Coach Frizzell gonna bring him out, see what he's gonna do. Maybe try to run this clock down and get out here at halftime. Sixth offensive possession for the Blue Comets here in this first half already. Bowman. Waiting for the snap. Now he has it. All kinds of time in the backfield. Gonna look to go downfield. Got his man down there and he's got him. And it is Bradley Peavy. Sorry. He's gonna catch it there at about the 20 yard line. There's gonna be a touchdown, Blue Comets. On the 51 yard pitch and catch to Bradley Peavy. Downfield and the Blue Comets, one play, making it a 34 to nothing ball game. Touchdown on the pass play to Bradley Peavy. Bradley Peavy breaks through right in the middle. He's going to the post. And Ty Bowman hits him for 49, 51 yards. And the Blue Comets out 34 nothing. Here comes Jacob Adams on for the extra point. So Adams stands in. And the kick is up and it is good, good, good. So two touchdowns here and uh, actually three touchdowns all together for Bradley Peavy here tonight. 2.04 to go. We'll take a 30 second break and come back and bring you the kickoff on your home for the Blue Comets. Let's get a medicine shop break here on Z95.3. Trying to roll himself over here. Maybe he just got the wind knocked out of him. Hopefully that's all it was. So, it's a 35 uh, nothing ball game, 2 one to go. Oh, they're going to get him up here. That's good to see. Nate Livingston getting up. Maybe just the wind knocked out of him there. Hopefully that's it. Oh, he's hobbling a little around a little bit there. Now going to be favoring that right leg. So maybe it's just an ankle roll hold. Hopefully not too bad. Get back out on the field here for the Cyclones. All right. Big leads as I said by Humble and St. Paul over in Hot 105 and uh, 1460 99.9. Big lead near for the Blue Cops now up 35 nothing with 201 to go. And it's the first down and 10 here for Kessinger and the Cyclone offense. He's got Cleaver in the backfield with him. Also, Creech back there, too. He's got to hold himself. Got a man downfield all by himself. And Ejo's got it. And nice job by Ejo. He takes it all the way down to about the 20-yard line into triple coverage down there. But the Blue Comets were on it. But Ejo comes back to the ball, and he's able to bring it in on another big pass play here by another big pass play from the 35-yard line all the way down. And they'll mark it there at the Blue Comets 23. That's Sanud on the pass play.
So it's a big fast play here all the way out to Aho. 47, uh, 48 yard pass play right there. Now trying to turn the corner and looks like an incomplete pass. Or the in, pass incomplete there as they try to get it there to Creech. Incomplete. So that brings up a second down and 10. 52 yard pass play there. So it's a second down and 10 now for Ottawa as Kessinger and Clevenger in the backfield. Now they have it down at the, we call it 22 yard line. Kessinger looked to pass, now throws it back over here, got his man. Aho trying to break some tackles, takes it back into the middle of the field, finally gets tackled inside the 10 yard line, maybe close to the 10. It's a first down to 10 here for Ottawa. As they take it all the way down to about the eight yard line there it looks like. 15 yards on that one. First down to go for the Cyclones as they have it down there at the eight yard line. The Blue Cowboys, Blue Cowboys held them out as they got all the way down to a first to go a while back. But Blue Cowboys able to keep them out of the end zone. Here's the pass up in the air. And it is an incomplete pass. Oh, it is caught. Sorry, got behind, got behind the, the window pane here, and it is caught for a touchdown. So get it in the end zone. Aho comes down with a number 18 on the touchdown pass play, so they get on the board. I was trying to look out here, and I got caught by the window there. Nice. <laughs> That's back what I did, too. So touchdown there for... Uh, the Cyclones, they put one on the board here, making it a 35 to six ball game. Okay, now, coming in for the extra point try, you got Fogel number six. Snap slow, but he'll get it up, and it is a good, good, good. So the PAT, good. Makes it 35-7 with 106 to go here in the first half. So we're gonna take a 30 second break. We'll be right back for it. Commercial bank break right here on your home for the Blue Comet C95.3. Back here, ready to go after the uh, touchdown drive there by the Cyclones to get him on the board. Big pass play, a couple big pass play, plays there between uh, Kessinger and Aho to get him all the way down the field. And uh, they take it down in on a 65-yard drive. Five plays, taking about 58 seconds and culminating on a touchdown, an 18, an eight-yard touchdown play to Aho here to make it 35-7, 106 to go. And ready for the kick, now the Blue Comets. Will also receive the second half kick. No, we got the ball first, okay. Audible series, the second half kick. Fogel, ready for the kickoff. Here it is, that's a good one. Going back deep there, driving Bradley Peakley back all the way back to the, near the goal line. He'll bring it back to the middle of the field here. Got an open lane, finding some room. Bouncing around, bouncing around, finally gonna be taken down once he gets across. The 25-yard line. Coming in there on the stop, Aho and number 65. That is Hedges for the Cyclones. First down and 10, Blue Comets. With Chanute, 59 seconds to go. On their own 27-yard line, have a first down and 10. Here comes that Blue Comet offense back out here. See if maybe they want to put an answer to that touchdown score put up by the Cyclones. Bowman with Davis to the left side, twin receiver set, both sides out in the formation, going left to right on your radio dial. Here's Bowman, gonna hand out to Davis. Davis following some blockers right up the gut. Take it across the 35 yard line down to about the 36, 37. He'll get close to the first down, he'll save it up to the 36. Give him nine on that one, does Davis. 
So second down and one. Bowman looking to pass, gonna throw it out here, got his man. That is Jaden Costin, enough for a first down, close to the 44 yard line. So that's eight more. Jaden Costin on his first reception of the night. It's another Blue Comet first down, that's number 12, as they are down to 33 seconds to go here. Let's see if Blue Comet's going to try to get enough down the field, maybe give Jacob Adams a long field goal try, maybe get it in the end zone here with another big play for the Comets. Davis now moves to the right side of Bowman as they go left to right. Twin receiver set both sides of the formation. Pistol. Bowman looking to pass all kinds of time. Got his man downfield looking. And it is caught at the 49-yard line there by Cam Kester. So that's on the uh, Ottawa side of the 40 of the 50-yard line. So seven yards on that one. To Thurst, to Kester. Downfield, got Jaden Carson. And he catches it at the 30. 25, he's finally going to be taken down. That's enough for a first down, Blue Comets. And that stopped the clock with six seconds. And Jaden Costin all the way down to the 23-yard line after that pass play by Ty Bowman. That's 26 yards to Jaden Costin. That makes another first down for the Blue Comets, number 13. That gives us six seconds left. What does... Coach Purcell decided to do here. He got a timeout too. Do you try to go to the end zone real quick? Or do we try the field goal with six seconds? Nice play there by Jaden Costa. Couldn't get away from the defender and a nice job there by the defender to bring him down. Number 23, I'm gonna say that's Lane. Had to change his jersey there. Lane number 22 comes down with it. I don't have a 23 on my roster and I see him out there so Got a timeout going on on the field. Coming up at halftime, we have our halftime interview with Miss Ruth Ann Boatwright of Main Street Chanute. You know, all the good stuff going on for the Big Artist Alley weekend coming up tomorrow morning. Hopefully the rain stays away. Make for a nice day for Artist Alley. All right, here we go. Six seconds to go in the half. 35-7, Blue Cowboys with the lead. First down and 10. They have it at the 23-yard line after a big pass play there to Jaden Costin. Here's Bowman. Going to look to pass once again. Breaks him through. Got him downfield. And it's a touchdown. Blue Comets. And a nice play there to Garrett Allman. Catches him for 23 yards. Bit on the fake. And Allman gets open down in the corner. And it's a touchdown. Blue Comets. As time expires to Garrett Allman. Third touchdown of the night. Throwing in there for Ty Bowman. And here comes Jacob Adams on the field for the extra point here to wrap up the half. Snap is down and the kick is up. And it is good, good, good. So the PAT good. And halftime makes it a 42 to nothing ball game. 42 to seven ball game here at the end of the first half. And a nice job there by the Blue Comets. Take it down the field in one minute, and they do it on a 73-yard drive. Five plays, one minute, and culminating in a, a great play there and a great play fake by Bowman to get the corner to bite and gets Allman to downfield by himself and catches him in the corner for the touchdown strike, and it makes it a 42-7 to ball game here at halftime. All right, as your Community National Bank halftime, we have our halftime interview that is on the way. We're going to send it back to the studio. Zach's going to play two minutes of commercials of our wonderful sponsors. And our halftime interview coming up, we'll be back with more with your halftime stats on your home for the Blue Comet Z95.3.
the ticket kickoff thing work? They picked two tickets. How did that work? How does it work? Yeah, and I brought it up here. It's what? Oh, it's next to the concession. Okay.
after we get everybody's numbers right for the second half. And Blue Comets trying to get the crowd pumped up. There's this big, big crowd here tonight. Homecoming crowd is still stuck around even with the big lead here at halftime. So we're ready to rock and roll. Second half, get ready to get underway. Blue Comets looking to go to three and one on the year before the start of SEK play. Comets been doing a little bit craziness here on these kicks. And at this time, it's gonna be Lucas giving it a big one. And it'll be taken there. Might look like Aho. Oh, that's number 16. That is J Jose Richards, and he'll take it out to about the 20-yard line. So Ottawa, from their own 20-yard line, we'll start off here. First down and 10. And they'll call it the 21-yard line here for the Cyclones. Kessinger comes out. He'll have Clevenger into the backfield. He'll go under center. High formation. Also back there is Creech, number two. Going to pitch it out here to Clevenger, trying to turn the corner. Blue Comet defense in the backfield, and nice job. Harris just throws Creech out of the way, goes back and makes the play. For the Blue Comets also back there. Helping out big number five, eight for the Blue Comets. That is Eric Beltran coming up with the stop there as well. That's a loss back to the 16-yard line. That's a loss of five. So loss of five there brings up a second down and 15 now for the Cyclones. Deep on their own end. Clever turned the backfield as Kessinger goes up under center. Gonna look to pass quick, got some time. Now flushed out of the pocket, rolling out here to the near side. Puts it up and nobody in the area and an incomplete pass. Seven to 15, 135 and a touchdown tonight for Kessinger. After the incomplete pass, makes it a second down and uh, make that a third down at 15. So we get down to about 11 minutes to go here in the third. And we got a penalty flag out there. Sorry, folks, didn't see that. That's going to back up. Back up the Cyclones, back to the 11-yard line. Five-yard penalty there, so that's going to make it a second down. And you're going to look like they're about 20 from the 11-yard line. About 20, 21 yards here now. So third down and 20 at the 11-yard line for the Cyclones. Kessinger now into the shotgun. Rolling out here, Blue Comet defense onto the presser, trying to find some room. Still strolling around back there. Finally going to be taken down. And that'll be a safety for the Blue Comets in the backfield. Garrett Allman also getting back there for the Blue Comets is Bra Braxton Harding, and that's a safety for the Blue Comets. Kester tried to bring it here to the near side. He got wrangled up, and he tried to go back, and the Blue Comet defense, like Harding, right there to take him down in the end zone for the safety. Makes it a 44-7 ball game. And they'll get a free kick coming up here. So Harding gets the safety for the Blue Comets, making it a 44-7 ball game. So the free kick coming up, and the Blue Comets will get it. As it'll probably be Fogle coming out for the kick for the Cyclones. As Ty Bowman gets himself warmed up and ready to go here for the first offensive possession for the Blue Comets of the second half. Leading big here at homecoming in front of this big homecoming crowd here tonight. So here come the Blue Comets now on the receiving team. Coombs, Peavy, Costin back deep. Also back there, Blake Atwood. And Garrett Allman back five here. As Fogel will set it up on a tee. They're ready to kick off here from the 20-yard line. They try something maybe to get the ball back here, but I wouldn't try that deep in their own end. And here's Fogel. He gives it a good kick. And Coombs going to come up underneath it. He'll let it bounce, and it gets away from him, but he's going to pick it up. It's about the 24-yard line. Jackson taking it over to the far side. 
Turns the corner and he'll have it up across the 40 to about the 43 yard line. First down and 10, Blue Comets. Jackson Coombs to the 43 for Chanute. That'll be their first possession here in the second half. 10.56 to go, they lead it. 44 to seven here in the third quarter. So we'll see if Coach Frizzell decides to, how long he decides to go with Bowman and his number ones here as uh, they are coming out. Tyler Davis in the backfield here with Bowman and PB and Kester here to the near side. Costin, Allman to the far side. Davis lines up to the left side of Bowman here in the backfield. And ready for the snap. Here it is, gonna hand it off to Tyler. Tyler's gonna be hit in the backfield, but he breaks away. And I'm gonna say nice job there by big number 78. That is Hempel for the Cyclones. He got back there, disrupted that one. Tyler got away from him, but it looked like he stayed with it. Still made him lose at least a yard. Back to the 42. So it's a loss of one there by Davis. Five carries, 36 yards, second down and 11. And a nice play there, like I said, Chase Hempel. Back there and disrupted that play. Davis down goes to the right side of Bowman. Keeping that twin receiver set both sides. There's a snap, Bowman looking to pass all kinds of time. Now breaks him out, pulls it down. Gonna have to get away from the defense. Now comes up, finds this man there at about the 50 yard line. And it looks like it may be Bradley Peavy and he'll be out of bounds there at about the 49. So it's a gain of seven. So it's a gain of seven, that's a third down and four for the Blue Comets, getting now under 10 minutes to go, 9.45. Here in the third, 44-7, Blue Comets. Stick with that same formation here. Davis in the backfield with Bowman. Bowman checking the sideline here. Plenty of time on the play clock. Now TD goes to the right side of Bowman. They go right to left on your radio now. Bowman ready for the snap. He's going to follow Davis through the middle. Ty still on his feet, uses the ref. Nice job taking out the zebra. We'd love to see that. All the way up to the 35-yard line. You got to get out of the way, if ref. You're going to get run over. The train's coming down the track. 45-yard line of Ottawa after the run by Ty Bowman. Maybe the ref made a call he didn't like earlier or something. I don't know. First down, Blue Comets. Six yards on that run by Ty Bowman. First down, Comets. 8.50 to play, third quarter. Watch him, you should see his face <laughs> when he gets run over. Here it is. Oh, 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 he didn't know what to do. That's that's funny. That's hilarious. Checking the replay, folks. All right, here we go. First down to 10, Blue Comets. Trip receiver set over that far side now. Bowman looking to pass, going to find his man out there. And, oh, almost undercutting the play there. As they try to get it to cost, and it was Morris. He almost kind of underneath that. But the pass incomplete. The Blue Comets put it all together here tonight, have a good running game. Definitely well over 100 yards rushing, actually a couple hundred yards rushing, getting close to almost 200 yards passing, up to 173 already for the Blue Comets here tonight. So at eight and a half left to go. That's where I missed it at Riker Donovan. Didn't get his touchdown, did he? That's where I missed him at, so there we go. All right, now in the backfield, five self tie Bowman, trip receiver set over to that far side, bringing a man in motion. That's going to be Peavy. Bowman holds himself, trying to bring it here to the near side. He breaks a couple tackles, gets across the 45, down to about the 42 for a gain of three. Eight carries, 70 yards for Bowman tonight. That'll bring up a third down and probably a good seven here for the Blue Council, 8-12 to go. So the first down, Blue Council can... Take a couple more minutes off this third play, third uh, quarter clock and get a continual clock there in the fourth. So once again, right to left, Allman, Costin, and Herb out wide to the far side. Herb gonna step back in a little bubble screen here. And that's Peavy comes up with it, breaking one tackle. Now another, we got a penalty flag coming in. Peavy breaking tackles, he's still on his feet. 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown, Brown and Peavy. But I do believe they're gonna call it back. Flags all over the place as he tried to break it down, and that's going to be a, maybe a holding. 
by the Blue Comets, but Bradley Peavy breaking tackles and taking it to the house for the score, but that's going to come back here. So we'll see what the referee says. Got a holding on the Blue Comets. So that'll come back here. He's on Garrett. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Yeah, looked like Garrett Allman. Might have got a little piece of him there. <laughs> Tried to spring him through. But uh, there we go. So after the penalty, they'll mark it off. And it'll end up at the 40-yard line. So the Blue Cowboys will actually gain two yards onto that penalty. So it's a third down and six now for the Comets. And Tyler Davis to the left side of Bowman. And Bowman looking to pass. He rolls out here to the near side. Puts up. He's got a man downfield. Going to look for him. And he's got Bradley Peavy right there for the reception. Oh, sorry, that's Cam Kester. And that'll be right there at the 31-yard line. First down, Blue Comets. So Cam Kester comes up with the first down. Down to the 31-yard line. So that's a nine-yard pass play. So first down, Blue Comets. That's number 15 on the night. And Comets driving again, taking their time here. We're down to 7.15 to go in the third quarter. Up 44 to 7. Davis in the backfield here, just behind Bowman. Faking the sweep and give it to Tyler Davis. He'll take it right off the guts, and he'll have a good run across the 30-yard line. And there, number 10, that is Cubison on the stop for the Cyclones. They'll take it up to the 25 for a gain of six. Six carries, 42 yards. That's an average of seven there for Tyler Davis on the night. So second down and four. As Davis will be backfield once again. Costin and Allman out to the far side. Kester, PV here to the near side. Going to give it off here to Davis. They'll take it up of the four hole. And up close to the 20 yard line. And she didn't have enough for a first down. They'll give him five. First down, Blue Comets. That'll be another first down as they get down to the 20 yard line. So a. Five-yard game by Davis right there. So that keeps that clock rolling, and the Blue Comets continue this long drive that started all the way back at their 43-yard line with 10.53 to go. They've already taken almost six minutes off the clock on this drive. So they now have it down at the 20-yard line of the Cyclones. Davis to the left side of Bowman. Here's Costa. In motion, right to the left side. Going to give it to Costa. Coming back up the middle. Jaden breaking tackles up the gut. Still on his feet. Now finally going to be taken down there by Lane. But he'll pick up a few down to about to the 14-yard line. A gain of six. So Jaden Costa was six. He gets on the positive side of it. Second carry for one yard down. His first carry was a loss of five. Brings up a second down and four. Five and a half to go in the third quarter. 44-7. Blue Comets with a big lead. Here tonight over Ottawa and homecoming night. So back to the line comes Bowman. Riker Donovan in the backfield. Allman wide to the far side by himself. Bowman with the snap. Good look for Garrett. He's wide open there at the 10 yard line. Breaks the tackle. Garrett still on his feet into the end zone. Touchdown! Blue Comets. Nice play down by Garrett Allman to break away from the tackle. And the Blue Comets get in on a 14 yard touchdown pass. From Ty Bowman to Garrett Allman. It's a touchdown, Blue Comets. 9.05 to go here. Second touchdown by Garrett Allman tonight, the fourth tonight. Fourth tonight for Garrett Allman, or for Ty Bowman. And here comes Jacob Adams on for the extra point try. High snap. Costa gets it down, and Adams gets it up, and it is through for the PAT is good. So the Blue Comets now lead it 51-7 to with 5.05 to go in the third. We're going to take a 30-second break, come right on back, and the Blue Comets leading a big here in the third quarter, Z95.3.
Back here, ready to go for the kickoff with 5.05 left to go. 11 plays. 57 yards. Five minutes, 59 seconds. 14-yard pass to Garrett Allman from Ty Bowman. And the Comets now lead it 51-7 to seven here in the third quarter. Here comes the kick as Lucas has been doing the kick in here. And he's done a good job. Here's another big, good kick by Lucas. And it's taken down there at the five-yard line. And that is Aho. He tries to go to the Ottawa side, breaks a couple tackles, spin move. And he's up to about the 25-yard line. Aho has been a very good factor for the Cyclones tonight. A lot of the plays from Aho this evening. So he gets him up there with five, 4.58 to play here in the third quarter. Cyclones will have it. First down and 10. 26-yard line. All right. So 26-yard line. First down and 10 here for the Cyclones as Kessinger brings them out. Empties out the backfield. Now look to pass out here to the near side quick. Got his man Clevenger, but Davis or Curtis right there on him. Curtis Harris, he might have got one there maybe on the pass to Clevenger. And they'll give him one. Second down and nine. First pass out there to Clevenger up to the 27 yard line. Clock down to four and a half to go. Once we hit the fourth quarter, should be a continual clock here. And the council will go to three and one on the year with Independence coming to town next week for the first game of SEK. Kessinger under center. Hand it off. And taking the rock there. Number 23, that is Morris. I'll pick up a few up to the 31 yard line. So a gain of four. So that brings up a third down and six. Now under four minutes to go here as Ottawa. Had a good, they've had a couple of big plays to get him downfield. Blue Comets held him out of the end zone on a fourth and goal, first and goal all the way down on four plays. And then they had one good scoring drive there. So we'll see if they can put together another one here into this third quarter as they get down to the end. Kessinger goes under center. Trip receiver set over to that far side. They go left to right on your radio dial. Kessinger now looking at some pressure by the Blue Comets. Hand it off here to 23 Morris, and he takes it over to the left side. He'll pick up a couple. Won't get uh, the first down. He'll take it up to the 33-yard line. So he'll pick up two more. So that'll bring up a fourth down and about three here for the Cyclones. And still down, down to three minutes to go here in the third quarter. We comments up 51 to seven here on homecoming night. Big wins, uh, sounds like, by Humboldt over on 1460, 99.9. Same thing for St. Paul over on Hot 105 here on the My Town Media Sister Stations. A broadcast on Friday night. <laughs> so going for it here, kind of much have to. See what you can come up with. And Kessinger. With Morris behind him in the backfield in the pistol. Going to grab it. Here's the pass. He's got his man Aho, and he breaks through the middle. And he's into 40, into Blue Comet territory, down to the 30, down to the 20, still after him. Blue Comet's going to try to catch up to him. Lucas Kent, and Aho outruns them all. And he'll take it in for a 67 yards on the play on the pass touchdown to Aho for the TD score. 67 yards. The Ajo comes out with his second touchdown of the night. Second touchdown there on the 67 yards. 9 of 17 for 203 on of the nine. Two touchdowns now for Kessinger as he picks up that touchdown. Make it 51 to 13, 222 to go. So coming on now, going to try the extra point is Fogel. Kessinger going to hold it down for him. And the kick is up, and it looks like it is good, good, good. So the PAT, good. So the big play gets the Blue Comets here and once again, but still a big lead for the Comets. 51 to 14, we'll take a 30 second break. We'll be right back for the kickoff. Blue Comet football, Z95.3.
Already a four play. 64 yard drive, 236. And the big pass play, make that a 74 yard drive. And the 67 yard pass play to Aho to get the score there for the Cyclones to make it 51 14 with 222 to go in the third quarter. Blue Cowboys going to get it right back. So another big play here by the Cyclones. They've had a couple of those tonight that have resulted those both times in a touchdown there. But that big, big play there by Aho as he takes the 67 yards to the house for the score. So Blue Cowboys ready to get it back. Peavy and Coombs back, and it's going to be up short there. It caught by Garrett Allman on the fair catch and 32-yard line. Oh, Chanute, 222 left to go here. End of the third quarter, first down and 10. St. Paul's done. They won it 48 nothing. St. Paul wins it 48 to nothing tonight over at Hot 105. Dan and Mike cannot call over there. I'm sure uh, Kobe and Brett enjoying the uh, big win there. They were ahead anyway. The Humboldt Cubs were over Jayhawk Lane on their first home game of the year. I do believe the Cubs are going to go undefeated this year over on 1460 99.9. Here we go. 222 to go in the third. Bowman back in there. Nope, we're going to get Herb at the quarterback. He's going to hand it off on the man coming around on the jet street. That is number 20. That is Raleigh Chard. And Raleigh Chard breaks a couple tackles as he looks like he stepped out of bounds once he got into Ottawa territory. And let's see where they mark him down at. And so Chard. So Raleigh Chard takes it up to the 44-yard line for a first down. 12 yards on that one. It's enough for a blue cover first, Joe. So that's 12 yards for Chart. First down and 10. So Herb back in the backfield once again here. Taking himself right up the middle. And Herb tackled after he gets across the 45-yard line to the 46 for a gain of two. So Raleigh Chard gets the first down for the Blue Comets, and Herb picks up two right there, make it three up to the 47-yard line. So it's a second down and seven as we get down to about 140 left to play here in the third quarter. Blue Comets up 51-14, to 14, and Herb now in a quarterback for the Comets. Like Jackson Coombs in the backfield as the running back. And going to give it to Jackson. Jackson taking it over to the right side, and he'll get in that uh, four hole over there and be met there by the Cyclone defense. So back to the line of scrimmage for no gain for Jackson Coombs. Third down and seven for the Blue Comets. As Herb brings the play in for the Comets. Getting down to a minute to go here in the third. Chard at Wood. And Williams out wide to the far side. Fritz here to the near side. And Coombs in the backfield. Herb looking to pass. He's going to have Colton Fritz. Fritz can't hold on to it. Goes in and out of the hands. And man. So Fritz can't come up with that one. Colton Fritz can't come up with that play. Fourth down and seven now, ready to go for the punts. Still, Brack Peavy will be the punter for the Blue Comets. Nice snap, and he'll get the kick off. Back there, Aho, he takes it about the 15 yard line. The Blue Comet, nice coverage down there by the kickoff or the punt team, and they take him down inside the 20, maybe right there at the 20 yard line. 33 yard punt there by Bradley Peavy. That's the first punt by the Blue Comets here tonight? I think so. All right, so now down to 38 seconds left to go here in this third quarter. The Blue Comets give it back to them onto the punt. So Ottawa with 38 seconds has the ball on the first down and 10 on the 20-yard line. So Kessinger brings them back out. That is scoring drive the last time. They'll have Morrison in the backfield with him. 
Kind of got that wing T look there, Aho in motion. And he'll take the pad off and come back up to the inside. Blue County defense right there to hold him to a couple. First one to hit him, Eric Beltran, number 58. So Humboldt's over, Cubs win. 44 nothing, Cubs win. Two of them there onto that run. Oh, that was on Aho. Okay, two of them, sorry. So it makes up a second down and eight for Kessinger and of the Cyclone offense. They're going to hand it off. Looks like there's going to be a false start there on the receiver here at the end of the quarter. Maybe they didn't get the playoff, but there's a penalty flag down there. I think that was a offsides on the receiver before the end of the quarter. So we'll see what happens here. Offsides. Only their fourth penalty of the night, 30 yards. And uh, that's going to do it for the end of the third quarter. It will be a 51 to 14 ball game at the end of the third quarter. We'll come back and take a one minute break and come back and bring you the fourth quarter. Cubs, our boot comes up big, 51 14, Z95.3. Back here on a second down to 13 for the Cyclones. They have the ball on their own 17-yard line. And Kessinger now will be into the shotgun. He'll have Morris behind him. Going to hand it out to Morris, take it over to the right side. Find some room. Finally going to be taken down. Number nine on the stop. That is Kendrick Emling on the stop for the Blue Comets. Should be a continual clock here the rest of the way. And a nice little pick up there by Morris. As he takes it up to the 29-yard line. So 12 yards for Morris. Makes it a third down and one from the 29-yard line. Just wanted the play clock to restart. Okay, now we're good to go with the play clock. All right, so here we go. Third down and two. Kessinger going to give it to Morris. Morris taking it back over that right side, looking for some room. He'll have enough for a first down as he brings it back into the middle. And once again, we come defense right there. Jacob Aguiar with the stop. It's a first down. It's number seven on the night. As Morris picks up enough for the first down, down to the 37-yard line. So eight yards. For Morris there. First down and 10. Under 11 to go. 51-14. Blue Comets. Kessinger with Morris behind him. First down and 10 at the 37-yard line. A hope. In motion from the left to the right side. Now they'll get him set up over here. The twin receiver set over there to the far side. They go right to left. Look for A hope. Going to have him there at the 45-yard. Juggling catch, but he managed to hang on to it. And about the 44-yard line is where they're going to knock him down there for a gain of seven. So seven more here for Aho. He's got 184 yards in uh, receiving and a couple touchdowns as Aho tonight. So it's a second down and three after that one. Or Kessinger to Aho. And he'll have Morris in the backfield. 
as Creech. Putting receiver step both sides. Here comes the blue commissary on the, the big blitz. Kester getting out of it now. Pulls it down, looking to run. And he makes it out there about the 45-yard line as he gets into blue comma territory. And see the mark him down there about the 43 is what they're going to say. 13 yards for Kessinger there. It's another first down. It's now down to 944 to go. And first down to 10 for the Cyclones. They're trying to drive once again, put another score on the board here. They'll send trips to that right side. Morris in the backfield, going to hand it off to Morris. Finding some room there. He's got some room still. He's at the 35. He's at the 30, 25, 20. Where the Blue is finally going to be taking him down. So it's a big run there. And that's all the way down to about to the 19-yard line, it looks like, by Morris. I'll say to take it down to the 19 down to the 18-yard line. So Morris with a big run. Another big run for Morris. It's another first down here for Ottawa. Does that have a first down and 10? Ball sitting at the 22 yard line. So it's a 21 yard run there. First down and 10 for Kessinger and the Cyclone offense. I like to pass. Send it over here to the near side. That is uh, Clevenger trying to break away from the Blue Cow defense. He'll get up to about to the 15 yard line. I say that he's wrangled down there. Coming up at the stop, number 11, Sean Williams. Down to the 20, they'll give him two. So that brings up a second down and eight. Eight and a half to go here into this ball game. 51-14 with the Cyclones trying to close the gap here on another drive. And Clevenger, Kessinger. Going to hand it off to Morris to that right side once again. Turns the corner. And a nice open field tackle there by the Blue Comets. Made by Trenton Harding. And get inside the 10 yard line. It'll be close to the first down marker. And they're gonna mark it down there at about to the eight yard line it looks like, seven yard line. 13 yard run by Morse that time. So it's another first down. We've got a first down and goal from the seven yard line. And we're going to get an outsize by the Blue Comets jumping over here on the, the near side. And Aguiar got to watch the ball. So, on that penalty. As they try to figure it out here. Takes it down to the two-yard line. Blue Comets. Only their third penalty of the night. 16 yards on three penalties. 7-15 left to play. The Blue Comets had him down to the... First and goal on four plays back earlier in the game. And Blue Comets held them out, see if they can do the same here. Here's Kessinger. Hand it out to Morris. Morris finds his way and it finds an open lane to the touchdown for the Cyclones on the run by Morris. So the touchdown by Morris makes it a 51 to 20 ball game with 6.48 to go. Eleven plays. A little over six minutes, about six and a half minutes on that drive. Eighty yards as Fogel looks for the extra point here to try to make it a fifty-one to twenty-one ball game, and he does. The PAT is good, so the PAT good. That'll make it a fifty-one twenty-one ball game with six eighteen to go. We'll take a one-minute break and come right back for the kickoff. Z ninety-five point three.
All right, ready to go out to the touchdown as that clock continues to roll down to about five minutes to go. About ready to wrap this up. Blue comes down by 30, 51 21 after the long drive. Taking about six and a half minutes on 11 plays and a two yard touchdown run by Morris to wrap it up here for the Cyclones. They get their third touchdown. They got two passing and one receiving or one rushing touchdown on the night. Here's Fogel with the kick, and he'll kick a good one into the end zone. So the Blue Comets will start off on their own 20 yard line. With 4.35 to play in the ball game. First down and 10 as Herb will come back out and be the quarterback here to wrap this one up. As the Comets will go to 3-1 and one on the year with Independence coming to town next week for a homecoming. Uh, the Blue Comets get the big win, but uh, start of the SEK next week. And the Blue Comets are going to hope to continue their winning ways here against a good Bulldog team. But homecoming, get the win, that's always nice. Especially a big win here tonight. Down to four minutes to go. Herb brings them back out. Twin receiver set both sides. Jackson Coombs in the backfield. See a lot of running here, I'm sure, from Coach Rizal in this squad. Going to give it to Jackson. Jackson, about to bring up the middle. Nice job, big number 78. Chase Hempel right there on the stop. And Jackson goes nowhere. Back to the line of scrimmage. 3.40 to play. Coming up after the ball game, we'll have our North Santa Fe Auto and Tire postgame wrap-up show here. Getting you ready for the big SEK matchup next week against Indy. We're going to wrap up a three-game homestand here. Herb back in pistol formation this time. Going to hand it off on the man coming around. For the becomes that is uh, Dagan Dean, and he'll have uh, some good yardage there as he takes... The tackler's above the tw the 30 yard line, up to about the 32. So Dean picks up, looks like 12 on that one for another first down for the Blue Comets. So it's another first down with that clock down now runs to three minutes to go. First down Blue Comets from the 32 yard line. Herb to quarterback. Brings him back to the line, taking his time here. Don't need to stop it before. 10 seconds, and he'll hold up here. Down to 10 seconds on that play clock. Herb, Coons behind him. Ready for the snap now. Rolling out here, he'll pitch it out here to Jackson. Jackson tries to turn the corner on the short side, and he'll get above that 35 yard line. They'll keep that clock rolling. So about three more here. This time for Jackson, picks up three. Second down and seven, 2.15 left to play. So Irv takes his time coming back in here, getting down now to two minutes. I want to have the uh, folks from Ottawa, please be careful, head at home, checking the weather out there. Looked like there were some tornado warnings and some serious weather up around the Ottawa area. So we hope everybody is safe up there in that Ottawa area with all the storms that are going on. So here's Herb back, ready to go. Coombs in the backfield with him, and once again letting that play clock run down to under 10 before they snap it, and 140 left to play. Bless you. In the ball game. Here's Herb trying to hold himself, trying to turn the corner. He's going to be moved down. Now he'll come back the other direction, look for a block, and gets one. Is Herb going to find some room? And he is. Still through one tackle, still on his feet, back to the middle of the field. And Herb just fighting for yards. He'll have enough for a first down as he gets up to about the 45, 46 yard line. And a nice job there by Eric Erger. Heard a lot about this freshman, and he's going to be very big for the Blue Comets over the next couple of years, I'll tell you that. First down, Blue Comets at the 46 on a gain of 11. Number 19, as far as first downs go here. Oh, we got a penalty flag on the play. Oh, holding after all that. Didn't see the laundry out there, folks. My bad. So I had to back the Blue Comets up, but we'll get under. 10 yards on that one. So Blue Comets picked up their fourth penalty of the night. 26 yards on four penalties. Second down at about 14. 40 seconds left to go. And Herb takes his time once again to get down to 30 seconds. Play clock down to about 10. This will be the final play of the game. Herb looking for the snap. Goes off his hands, comes up with it. Herb tries to break a tackle. Now brings it back to the middle of the field, and he'll be taken down there as number 23, Morris, ends up with the stop. 
And back to the line of scrimmage for no gain is Herb. And that will do it. It will be a 51 to 21 victory for your Blue Comets as they go three and one on the year. Their big, big win here over the Ottawa Cyclones here tonight. So big, big win here for the Blue Comets. Nice job, everything working for the Blue Comets here this evening. Over 200 yards passing, well over 200 yards rushing onto the night. We had those just scoring all over the place. So a good job by the Blue Comets over a good Ottawa Cyclone team here. So Blue Comets now at three and one with the SEK starting next week. Should be a very, very good one here in Shadoot next week for the start of the SEK. We're going to send it back to the studio, take a three-minute break, come back for your North Santa Fe Auto Entire postgame show. Blue Comets win, Blue Comets win, 51-21 on Z95-3. 